Welcome back for another video. My name is Adam from WPCrafter.com where I make videos for non-techies like me and maybe like you. And this is a video that's part of a series that's covering this done for you template that I created. If you don't have the template, you can go to my website, click on DFY templates right there in the menu. And it's this one right here about creating an online course. And this is what the homepage looks like. And I have videos covering every aspect of getting the most out of this. You should check it out. But in this video, I wanted to cover one aspect and that is creating a membership. Now, a membership will literally just be a series of courses. You can create these membership packages that have multiple courses in it and maybe you're protecting content elsewhere on the website. And you can do this all with this solution. So let me show you how easy it is. So I'm logged into the back end of WordPress. We'll click on memberships right here. Oh, and it looks like I did create a sample membership. So let's just take a look at it. But you could just click on add membership right there. So essentially your membership has a name and this is called the membership bundle. That's what I chose. And here's where we have our different lifter LMS options. So right here you can choose your price whether it be a single or a reoccurring. And I did make a video about integrating WooCommerce and this is where you would put the, uh, SQ, uh, the SKU for SKU matching. That's a different video. Uh, but this is where you're gonna set your pricing obviously or recurring or if you want it to expire at a certain point. This right here is where you will manually add existing students or re manually remove existing students from this membership. Uh, but right here is where it's really all the action happens. You can click right there where it says enrollment. And this is where you choose which courses are going to be part of this membership. And I actually already added these three courses to it. But say I just wanted this to include the WordPress essentials and the intermediate class. So I need to actually remove that advanced class. So I'm going to go here to remove course and I'm going to type up. Well, there's only three so it pops up right away so I'm gonna click on advanced and I'm gonna click on remove and you can see now uh, it refreshes the page and now when I go back to that enrollment tab now I only have these two courses as part of this membership now right here you could choose to auto enroll someone or not now I don't auto enroll personally I will sell the membership and then people can go that are part of the membership, go to the course page and just click on take this course and then it will bypass the checkout and, and immediately enroll them. I do it that way. I like doing it that way better, but it's up to you. So this is how simple it is to actually bundle the courses. But what I need to show you now is how to protect other content that's elsewhere on the website. So say I want to create a maybe a download page or maybe your membership includes a bi-weekly webinar and you have that webinar embedded on a page on your website and you want that protected so only people that can see it are people that are enrolled in the membership. This is so easy to do. In fact, Lifter LMS is really an entire membership platform. You don't even have to use it for the courses if you didn't want to. You could literally use it just as a membership plugin. But that's another story. So let's go ahead and uh, create that webinar page right now. So I'm gonna go to Pages, Add New. We're gonna name this webinar like that. That's fine. I'm not gonna actually build the page. You'll get the point. And, but check this out, when I scroll down on every single page, you have this box right here. And it says restrict this content. Now if we had multiple memberships, it would list them all right here. So you can have, say, two memberships, but this page is only for the higher paying membership. You can just choose whichever membership you want right here. But since I only have one, I'm gonna click on restrict the content and then I'm gonna choose the membership that is allowed to view it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click on publish. Okay, now that that is published, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the page. I'm gonna go ahead and open the page in a different tab. 
And so here it is. There's nothing on this webinar page. But, you know, say you're doing it over YouTube Live or some other way of doing live video and you can embed it, you would uh, just go ahead and drop your embed code. Uh, anyways, or you would maybe have a link if it's, say, um, GoToWebinar or Webinar Ninja or one of those different webinar platforms. Maybe here you would actually have the information to register for the webinar or something like that. And you can really just be protecting the registration link. So, anyways, um, so you can see I'm logged into WordPress and that's why I can see this page. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to log out of WordPress. Then I'm going to refresh the page and you'll see what happens. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to go here and I'm going to click on log out. And it just takes me back to the login page. And then here I am on the webinar page and I'm going to go ahead and click on refresh. And whatever you see, whatever was on this page is now completely gone. I have lost access to it because I'm not enrolled as a member. And that's all there really is to protecting anything with Lifter LMS. And there's actually a lot of neat things that you can protect. So let me log back in. I'm logged back in. You can create posts that are protected. So let me see if I have any posts. I don't. If I click on add new, you can see I have that membership option. Any piece of content you create and you've got this membership access box here, you're going to be able to protect it. Um, if you're, say, here's an example, and I actually helped someone implement this. They wanted to have a store, an e-commerce store, that was only available to people in the membership. So they installed WooCommerce, they created their product, and they restricted the view of that product to just people that were in the membership. And uh, let me just show you that real quick. It'll take like one minute. So let me just activate WooCommerce. WooCommerce is activated. Uh, we can go now to products uh, right here. Click on add product. You would give your product a name. You'd probably make it a virtual product, but check this out. You can restrict even access to seeing this product to the membership right there. So uh, you can see how amazing this solution is as a membership protection for any content on your WordPress website. There's no need to go get a membership plugin and get this plugin and get that plugin. This one plugin, Lifter LMS, not only does it do courses, collect payment, uh, all the facilitation of the courses, analytics and all that, but it will also allow you to create memberships and protect content anywhere on WordPress. Hey, really quick, can you do something for me? If you're watching this on YouTube, can you give me a thumbs up? And I want to invite you to subscribe to this YouTube channel. There's a button right beneath me, and I'd really appreciate it if you did that. And I've got something for you. I don't want you to leave empty-handed. If you just click off here to the side, it's a free video course that I put together just for you called the three steps to WordPress success. You will love this course. Registration is free right now. All you have to do is click on the link right next to me. Hey, thanks for spending this time with me and I can't wait to make another video for you.